Oh, hello. So let's talk about Vue.js slots. So first thing I would like to, to, to define here, what is a slot in Vue? So Googling this and I found this good answer. So slots are reserved space offered by Vue.js to display content pass it down from one component to another. So this does remind me of the extending rule or um, strategy, if you can call that, when we use it, uh, for example, Symfony or Laravel or even PrestaShop, we have the notion of hooks in different templates. So a template that defines some hooks and there is another module that inject some content in that specific code in that specific place of the page. So it's exactly the same idea here with the slots in Vue.js and it's really a smart um, smart idea, smart, smart things, smart feature actually to have. All right, so let's start with coding here. I have a couple of components. One is about view. This is one that we are seeing on this page. And we have this layout module that is also a component. So always we are talking components here, but it's simple component. It does not contain a slot or it's not slots ready, if you can say that. All right, let's go ahead and transform it into a slots ready. And to do that, I'll simply go ahead and add a slot here. And let's say this is a slot component or slot content okay anyway very simple stuff all right so let's go ahead now and import this component in order to use it inside about view because this component will be the layout or the template of this component okay if that doesn't make, make sense all right so here i'll simply go ahead and do layout module and thanks to my ide for doing the auto import for me okay so uh what is this Okay, so it just messed up everything for me in serum of, yep, okay, anyway, it's still buggy. All right, so when I did this auto import, look what happened here. It does load the content of this load module and also it did display this lot content. All right, so now I would like to override this content. This is basically the idea of slots. So what I need to do here is simply goes here and again call slot tag and type this is updated content. Okay, now look what's happening. I immediately have new content instead of the uh, this is the fallback called content that we did define here. All right, so let's go a bit more deep with this with the notion of named slots. So this is like an anonymous slot that you can simply call a slot and inject whatever content. But let's suppose I have a slot called header. So slots and here be defining a name that will equal to header. And I'll be having another slot for the footer, for example. And I would like to inject specific content for each of them. Well, to do this is again fairly simple. So all what we need to do here is to define a template here, template tag, and we're using the 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 hash or dash or whatever content is, is called. I don't know. And we simply need to define header content goes here. Oops, sorry. Come on, goes here. All right, so immediately we do see that we have new content being injected on that header section. All right, so this is the header content and I misspelled content yet another time. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the same rule, but for the footer. So again, duplicating this, changing this to header and immediately you see that we have read error uh, saying that an element have multiple template element which are distributed or slotted, blah, blah, blah. So basically saying that this slot has been used twice, so you need to change it. So here, moving that to footer and immediately the error is gone. Quick formatting and we have this um, must be further just to see things better. Okay, um, now we can go a bit more deeper because we can pass instead of, or in addition to this HTML kind of static content, we can pass dynamic content. So here in my component, in my hosting component, if you can say that, this setup or the about component, I'll go ahead and use the setup API or composition API, sorry. And I'm going to create a couple of variables or one of them is enough. So let's say this is a person name and it will equal to my name here. And don't forget always to return because I always forget to return the created variables. So now if I pass this to the header, we will see that it's made available to be passed down. Come on. Okay, so uh, person name 
and we should see my name here except it's not showing for whatever reason person name I misspell it or something here set up we have person name here const person name return person name equal to that uh, we are on the header here oh it seems like it's gonna crash to something um, what's wrong return yeah absolutely because I uh, did stupid thing right there all right so stupid um stupid yeah uh so we have this uh the the message that it is defined here and we have the dynamic um variable property call it whatever you want and it's available for our template so there is a rule about this you must always keep in mind about passing these properties everything in the parent template is compiled in the parent scope mean everything that you pass for example person and person name is only available in this component you cannot say a person name inside this layout module and everything in the child component or the child template is compiled in the child scope so for example if i would like to set up something here and return uh, i don't know person name again person um with a const here equals to uh youtube for example and also we do return it as always don't forget to return your things quick formatting so this person is not available here we cannot call person okay so this is the main idea about uh, this little paragraph so that's it about uh, slots hopefully this video will be instructional and uh, beneficial for some people thank you for watching if you like it as always please subscribe leave a comment share it with people because um these kind of topics are foggy for some people so thank you for watching and see you in another one